The World Health Organization classes gaming as a disorder, but is it really? The World Health Organization say for gaming disorder to be diagnosed, the behaviour pattern must be of significant severity to result in significant impairment in personal, family, social, educational or occupational or other important areas of functioning and world normality, and have been evident for at least 12 months. If this were a disorder, 61 to 80 percent of PC gamers wouldn't spend their time playing multiplayer online games and console gamers wouldn't spend 60 to 80 percent of their time playing online games and games like Just Dance Mario Party wouldn't be whipped out at parties however gaming may be linked back to school shootings but other than one of the Columbine shooters Eric and Dylan having a map of their school in Doom the link is usually made by politicians however there seems to be no link to violent gaming whatsoever. However, articles from the New York Times, CNBC and The Times magazine have come to state there is no evidence that gaming causes violence. And if we look at this chart from CNBC, where it shows the most violent games that are sold and where the most mass shootings happen, that we see more mass shootings happen where guns are sold. Therefore, there is no correlation between violence and gaming. So overall, I view gaming as a great social tool, thanks for introductions of party chats, group chatting platforms such as Discord, and overall gaming online becoming a bigger and better thing.